Hey everyone, just a very quick update on the last video that I put out for the 7800X 3D benchmarking DCS. Originally I benchmarked this with the latest build of DCS because I downloaded it about two weeks after the build that I tested the 12900K on and at the time I didn't think there was going to be that much of a difference between the builds and I wasn't sure how to get an older build installed the DCS. Anyway, I thought I'd just quickly try and downgrade the version that's running on the 7800X3D and just rerun the benchmark quickly, not expecting much, but as a matter of fact, it turns out it does run a lot better on the older build. So there you go, someone in the comments is asking, could I re-benchmark it? And if you look around about this time in the video when I get close to the runway, you can see the CPU cores are loaded up a lot better. The frame time is not too far off um, what it is on the Intel. It's not quite as good still, but it's a lot better than it is compared to the very latest build. So I don't know what Eagle Dynamics have done in the very recent builds. I think in build about a week ago they added some extra implementation for AMD processors, but maybe that was targeted at the one that has more cores, and as a result it doesn't favour the um, CPUs with lesser cores. Not sure. The only other thing I'll address is that in terms of configuration, both PCs are running the latest build of Windows 10 Professional. Uh, they've got the same configuration. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is off on both. The NVIDIA driver is the same on both. The NVIDIA control panel is the same on both. So they're pretty much as close as can be. Well, as little background software running as possible. This should be as far as comparison as I can get it really. I'm going to be testing other games soon, so look out for other updates, and I'll see you in the next one.